Olympics after leukemia battle Thorne enjoyed a 26-year playing career in professional William snooker, Thorne, winning 14 worldwide titles and reaching the UK championship was final in 1985, before moving he into commentary with the BBC, his snooker legend Willie title. Thorne has died aged 66 after a short Davis battle with leukemia. The, the former UK world no point seven had been in an induced coma in the intensive care ward at Torrevieja Hospital Spain after suffering respiratory failure on Sunday, June 14. National under Thorne was diagnosed with leukemia in back in March and has he had several health issues in 1975 while undergoing chemotherapy treatment really while residing in his success, rented flat in Alicante. One he had to undergo three blood transfusions following his initial diagnosis year, before returning to hospital in May for heart checks and an MRI scan. His Davis, latest admission to hospital to was following a drop in his blood pressure to dangerously low levels, with medical staff opting to place him in an induced coma despite being placed on a ventilator. Thorne was expected to recover but sadly passed away. Thorne had a successful career in snooker as a player after turning professional in 1975. He won 14 worldwide titles and reached the final of the UK Championship in 1985, losing to Steve Davis, having led the tie 13 at one stage. Nicknamed Mr. Maximum for holding the record for most maximum 147 breaks, he also reached the quarter-finals of the World Championships in both 1982 and 1987. His Much best performances dismay, in the tournament, because he arguably his finest hour came in the final Herod of the Classic in 1985, where he beat Cliff Thorburn to win his only ranked in tournament. With the Guardian After retiring in 2004, Thorne moved into commentary, commentary and became one of the voices of the BBC, having first worked for them in the 80s. Away from the table, he was Thorne was open about his troublesome addiction to gambling, which he admitted cost him dear, but hoped by speaking out he would help others in a similar situation. His addiction eventually left him with over pounds 1 million in debts in 2015, season, and later saw dropped, him declared bankrupt. More recently he helped sport years, relief raise money and awareness for homelessness, while Sky also taking part in a TV series focused on highlighting the, the issue of testicular and prostate cancer. He had married for the second time to former Miss Great Britain Jill Victoria Saxby in 1995, in who played a big part in helping Thorne overcome his addiction, but the pair separated in 2019. A fundraising page had been set up for Thorne by his friend and carer, Julie O'Neill, who provided fans with regular updates on his health prior to his death. Thorne leaves behind three children of his own and two stepchildren. His hair is all gorn. Thorne's cameo line was, perhaps I ought to chalk it, in reference to his gleaming head putting off his opponents. Thorne also appeared in the Romford rap video with the rest of the matchroom mob. Thorne was described as a skilled break builder and possibly the missing link between old school percentage play and the current aggressive potting game. He took 19 seasons to record 100 competitive century breaks. He was only the third player to achieve this feat and achieved a maximum break at the 1987 UK Championship. Thorne won the World Seniors Masters in 2000, beating Cliff Thorburn as a way aged 66 Thorne after leukemia battle Thorne enjoyed a 26-year playing career in professional athlete. snooker, winning 14 worldwide titles years, and reaching the UK Seldon Championship final in 1985 Thorne before moving into commentary with the BBC. Dancing, snooker with legend Willie Thorne has died aged 66 after a short battle with leukemia. The former world no.7 had been in an induced coma in the intensive care ward at Torrevieja Hospital Spain. After suffering respiratory failure on Sunday, of June 14, official story Thorne was diagnosed with leukemia back in March Death and has had several health March issues since, while undergoing chemotherapy treatment while residing in his rented flat in Alicante. He, was placed he had in to undergo three blood transfusions following his initial in diagnosis Spain. before returning to hospital in May for heart checks and an MRI scan. His latest admission to hospital was following a drop in his blood pressure to dangerously low levels, with medical staff opting to place him in an induced coma. Despite being placed on a ventilator, Thorne was expected.